A major misconception about strategy is that the National League manager has to use his bullpen a lot more than the American League. This is totally false. In 2016, each league averaged just five and two-thirds innings from their starting pitchers. Each team in both leagues averaged just three complete games, and they averaged three relievers per game in both leagues. So the American League manager has to use his bullpen as early and as often as the National League. He's going to use his bullpen for three and a third innings for 159 games a year on average. And so the American League manager has to be just as busy and careful in managing his bullpen. Related to this is the idea that it is a big decision for the National League manager to decide whether or not to pinch it for his pitcher. Maybe it was a big decision in the old days, but not anymore. Because you don't expect complete games from pitchers these days. Only three complete games per team in both leagues. The main criterion for removing a pitcher in both leagues now is pitch count. Also, many relievers are elite pitchers these days. It's not as big a step down in quality like it used to be. So it is no longer a big deal to remove a pitcher in the late innings. These days, it's almost always a routine and obvious move. And so is the double switch. These things are nothing to be excited about. They pale in comparison to the more base runners and better, more unpredictable strategy you get with a normal hitter in the number nine slot in place of the pitcher's 135 batting average and 39% strikeout rate. So from all of these comparisons given you in these videos so far, you can see that there is not as much difference between the two leagues as you've been led to believe. They really don't have two completely different games. The two leagues are quite similar. Next, I will be comparing the principles involved with having a DH versus having pitchers batting.